This program brought to you by The Dubbo Dazzlers, a novel by Joy Ruby about four young Australian women dealing with the impact of the Second World War. There ought to be more people like you, more people who give so willingly to people like me. It's plain to see with people. Hello everybody, well, welcome to Joy's World. You know, I do have the most interesting people. We have in the studio tonight, we have the most amazing selection of people from different worlds. And sitting opposite me is one of the most interesting people I've met for a long, long time. And this one is called, hmm... Sometimes she's called Huey, but tonight her entertaining name is Rubella. Hello, Rubella. Hello, Joy. Lovely to be here. Ah, oh, this is amazing. You look absolutely stunning. Oh, thank I you. I love your jewellery. I wish I had your jewellery. Thank you. I, I mean, I do myself up like, well, actually, my designer dresses me. And he puts on all the junk jewellery that he can find. I love it. And, and, and I mean, I'm a, as sparkly as I can be, but you're much more sparkly than I am tonight. Oh, thank you. My goodness, you're gorgeous. Thank you, Joy. And I, I think I should go right back to the beginning of your career because right. there's no use starting now because mm -hmm. you're not always like this. No. And you have, you have done all sorts of interesting things. I believe you started very young when you were a teenager as a, a leading man with Tony Collette, is that right? That's correct. At the Seymour Centre. At the Seymour Centre. And you were only about, what, 18? Mm-hmm, that's correct. But you always wanted to be an actor, did I you? I always wanted to be in the entertainment industry and it was one way of getting in there. And out of 360 people that auditioned, Tony and I got the lead roles back then. Well, that was very interesting. And that was before she went to NIDA, I suppose. That's right. Yes, yes. And you didn't want to go to NIDA? Well, it was an opportunity to go, but then I thought I really wanted to hit the stage hard, so singing and dancing was more my yes, path. Yes, yes. So you sing and you dance as well. And you've had a very interesting career, though. You've played all sorts of different parts. Not as a woman, necessarily, no, but true. as a man. And uh, you've had some lovely roles. What could you tell us about some of those today? I, and you work as a man. That's right. I work in a pharmacy, so I basically deal drugs in the cross. <laughs> that and here sounds comes another really play. suspicious, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. oh, how marvellous, though. Have you been trained as a pharmacist? No, I actually got two, half, two and a half hours' worth of gruelling information on what everybody can take and what they can't take. I see. So with prescription drugs, you've got to sort of vary out that you don't sort of yeah. counter yes. all the medicines. You must meet so, some interesting people. Oh, do we ever. And mind you there, I've probably seen you too out there. <laughs> yes, you. <laughs> so, but no, we do get lots of walks of life that come in and see us, especially that guy Daniel. I know he works for you. Oh, he does yes. too. He does. He goes in for headache tablets, no doubt. Well, that's how I met him. Yes, of course. So, yes, he was a very good night that he had. And we the next morning, he was regretting it. So he had the Oh, I see. So he needs something for a hangover. But we won't tell everybody that. Oh, no, no. Not Daniel. <laughs> so he's my little goody-goody boy on the crew. Daniel can do no wrong. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> anyway, anyway, my dear, I'm very, very happy to meet you. I'm and so I would happy love to, to see you. you perform. I believe you sing. I do. You dance. And do you sing as yourself? I do, do sing as myself, so I don't mind. No. That's right, I don't you mind. You really use I, your own voice. I use my voice. That's, That's right. That's lovely. I use my own voice too, but nobody seems to like it. I seem to <laughs> like it, and I think I've heard you bash out a few tunes before there, Joy. But I've also 
we also came to realise tonight, ladies and gentlemen, that I know her other daughter, which is fabulous. I love it how it's a small world. Anna. Yes, yeah. and in your world, Joy, it, it is a small world. People will know each other yes, by less than two right. degrees. This is right. I this believe in that. Yes, I have three beautiful children, and they're all in show business in one way or another. Some behind the camera, two of them behind the camera, one of them in front of the camera. It's Anna, the one and you that's know. that's the one I yes. know, yes. <laughs> yes, yeah, so she's not here tonight because she's doing a play. She's also a deaf interpreter. And I think that's how you that's met That's how we met. And it was a lovely night that we both met. Oh, you do it too. I can sign very little. Sign very little. Yes. That's wonderful. I, probably more than I can, I really should. Because I'm getting deaf myself and no doubt soon I'll be needing to talk with my hands. So Sorry, what was that, Joy? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Okay, my dear, well, thank you so much for thank visiting. Thank you. And coming into Joy's world and brightening it up for us. It's well, lovely. Thank you so thank much, you so much, Joy. Lovely. Love, lovely to meet you too. Lovely to meet Mwah. you too. We're saying the same thing because we like each other. 